Hello everyone, my name is Autumn McGee and this is my second book review for our social studies class. So, I read A Helmet for My Pillow from Paris Island to Pacific, a young marine stirring account of combat in World War II. So, this book opened my eyes a lot. I have read this entire book cover to cover, every word on every page. This book is about Robert Leckie himself. So this is our author, Robert Leckie, and it was published in 1957. This book is a narrative. It's written by Robert Leckie himself as he enlists as a Marine, and he begins his basic training and combat training at Paris Island. So the way the book is written out, it's very vivid. Um, it is described as a personal account of a one Marine's journey. The reason that Robert Leckie decided to write this book was after he went and watched the Broadway show South Pacific. He said that he was very disappointed at how inaccurate it was actually written about a soldier. How it's not half of the things that soldiers actually go through and the training is more rough than what the play represented or what the movie represented. So it gives raw examples about what really happened in World War II and there were many things that I liked about the book and there were some things that I disliked about the book. One thing that I really enjoyed about it was how each chapter is written out. So, and the book was actually written to those who fail which is honestly it's really sad but it gives a raw example of how vivid this book was written out to be so the table of contents shows each chapter so the first chapter is called boot so i'm guessing this is his boot camp gives the gives the reader a foreshadowing moment in a way and then it goes one two three and that is actually the chapters within chapter one. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to chapter one and I won't read anything except the first sentence. It says, a cutting wind slanted up Church Street in the cheerless dawn of January 5th, 1942. That day I departed for the United States Marines. So it goes into detail about what he went through within training and then it goes into chapter two, Marine, chapter three, Warrior, chapter four, Lotus Eater, chapter five, Brig Rat, chapter six, Veteran, chapter seven, Victim, and then an epilogue. He was actually injured while fighting. He did not lose his life, but he did have lots of internal bleeding and some vulgar things that I won't go into detail on in this video, but if you want to understand more about him and like what actually happened, then I would definitely read this. One thing that I did not like about this book was the vocabulary. The vocabulary was definitely extensive. It was harder for me to understand, so I kept a dictionary next to me quite through most of the book so that if I ever came across a word that I got confused about, I was able to look it up on the spot to be able to apply that to my prior knowledge. And some of the words I understood, but others was just very challenging. Um, the places that he visited or went was kind of challenging as well to read the names of. So I tried my best. Um, it talks about the people that he met one of the cool things to me about the book is that he's the only one that actually used his real name. So for everyone else that he came into contact with has different names listed in the book than what they really were. And I believe that he did this out of respect for the soldiers who did fall alongside him and the families for not wanting it all the way out there just yet. But the reason I chose to read this book, or one of the reasons, was I am dating a veteran now, and I wanted to understand and grasp a better understanding of being a soldier. And while me and him decided to read this book together, because, well, I read it and then he decided to read it, and we cried together, and we laughed, 
and many, many more. It goes in order of every event that he goes through, and he has a dark sense of humor, but whenever you're a soldier, I guess it's easy to come by, you know? Um, but it talks about vivid, humorous details of training in South Carolina through being assigned to the first terrifying duties as a fighting Marine. So I would 100% recommend this book. It is challenging to read and it is a little sad, but it is a fantastic way to understand the way a soldier goes through every day of their life and putting into perspective what really goes on. So thank you.